What's up everybody, it's Hades here with another Hades Realm Guide and today I'm going to show you how to farm the pure-blooded Firehawk and the Flame Talon of Alas Resort. Both these mounts drop in Firelands, a raid which came out in Cataclysm, which means we're going to one-shot everything. But if you want that mount to drop quicker, smash that subscribe button. <laughs> but in all fairness, to all those who have supported me, thank you again, I love doing these guides for you. So let's get stuck into today's guide. I am Hades. If you're a beginner player or a veteran player who doesn't know where Firelands is, Firelands is located in Mount Hyjal. And the quickest way to get to Mount Hyjal, there is a portal in Stormwind or Ogrima, which takes you right there. And as you can see now, I'm flying right to the portal. And once you get to the portals, look for the portal that says Mount Hydral, and that is the one you're going to be clicking. It looks like this. Once you click the portal, you're going to get to Mount Hydral, and you're going to fly south to the Sulfurin Spire. I'm just going to fast forward the video now. Something to note, the Firehawk mount has a higher drop rate in Heroic Mode. It doesn't matter if it's 10 or 25 men, but the mount does drop in both Normal and Heroic. Unless you're after Transmogs, just stick to Heroic Mode. It's just as easy. And believe me, Firelands has some amazing looking transmogs. It was actually a really fun raid to do back in the day, and I wish they'd make something similar again. And now you know how to get there, let's go inside the raid. Firelands is quite easy, there's no particular order you have to do for the first few bosses, but there are seven in total. Alice Resor, which I have marked here, is the one that drops the first mount, the Flame Talon of Alice Resor. And to unlock Ragnaros, you have to defeat all five bosses in the starting area, in no order. However, with the boss Shanox, he does not appear until you kill a certain amount of adds. So what you're going to do on the way to the other bosses is you're going to kill the big group packs of the lizard looking adds. And once you kill enough of those, Shanox will spawn and then that's how you defeat Shanox. Otherwise, you can just run through, kill all the bosses in no order. And then once you get to Balarok, that's when we go over to Major Domo Staghelm. So I'm going to fast forward this. Now on Alice Resort, it's a simple fight. You're basically going to kill all the disciples and the two flaming birds and not to mention the eggs. And once you've done that, you're going to approach Major Domo and you're going to tag him with one of your attacks and he is going to root you to the ground. Once he has done that, he's going to do a little role play and once he's finished the role play, Alice Resort is going to shoot up from the volcano behind him and it's a spectacular sight. Once he is attackable, Charge up to him, you're going to virtually one-shot the bird. Poor boss, didn't stand a chance. And hopefully you're going to get a mount right now. No, I never got the mount. Lucky for me, I've already got the mount. But if you do get the mount, I'd love to see it. Flick a screenshot in the comment section below so I can congratulate you because it is an epic looking mount. Now I'm just going to head up to Bethtalak to finish the final boss before I go to Balarok. So what I'm going to do is speed up the video until I get to Bethelak. I don't really want to skip any bosses just in case you've never done it before. And getting to Bethelak kind of looks like a labyrinth, but it's really easy. You're just going to smack the spider down. And once it's dead, you're going to loot at the boss and kill all the adds. And then what you're going to do is sneakily jump down right here. It's a nice little shortcut to go and take you back to Balarok. And that is the final boss of the first five, which is how you unlock Ragnaros. So basically what we're going to do is run straight to the center, turn left into this gate, and just go ham on him. Come on, bring it, bring it, boom! He's dead. So now we're going to go forward past the boss, and you're going to see an orb on the right. This orb activates the bridge, which crosses us over to the next boss. And as you see, I'm going to skip the cutscene, but if you've never seen it before, watch it. Why not? Now we're going to mount up and run across over to Major Domo. He's the sixth boss. And if you didn't know, if you're a druid, he drops a nice looking transmog for your kitty form, which makes you a flaming cat. So if you're a druid, go and farm him because it is an awesome looking transmog, which makes you look fiery. Now for the moment of truth, we're going to be walking into the Fire Lord's den. And hopefully he's going to drop the pure blood Firehawk mount. Look at him standing there in all his glory. Little does he know we're going to go up to him and basically one-shot him. I did this raid back in Cataclysm when the mount was 100% drop rate. 
I didn't do it on this tune. I did it on another tune on my other server. So my achievement date on this tune is about to change once I kill him. But that's okay. Because we're going to get you the mount now. There's not much to this fight. Basically just hit him. And he's going to go down. And you're going to go and hit any ad that spawns. And then there's going to be a little bit of a role play between him and Malfuron. And that's it. Once he's done, loot the boss. See if you got the mount. And if you did get that mount, flick me a screenshot in the comment section below. And welcome to the Firehawk Club. And that's the end of this guide. If you like my guides, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, if it was helpful, flick it a thumbs up. And I'll catch you in the next guide. Take care.